everyone, it's Lou Collins. Thank you so much for joining me. Now today I've got a video that has been um, very much requested. So it's going to be a short one today, hopefully, um, but just one that you can refer back to time and time again, um, because this is all about purchasing your first Distress Inks or Distress Oxides. Uh, now, when I first started out, I was just grabbing the colors that most appealed to me. So they were teals to start with, um, and then some pinks and some purples, and I ended up uh, not able to make that many color combinations with them. Um, because I was, I ended up actually buying many of the same sorts of colours, so a few purples, a few pinks and a few teals. Um, but I want to lay out for you what I believe is the best choice for your first five, in this instance, uh, Distress Inks or Oxides, to get you started and the colour combinations that you can be doing with them. So I have gone for the primary colours as well as a green and a brown and I'll show you why in a moment. Uh, the ones I've picked out as most like a primary colour is Festive Berries for a red. Now the reason I went for this and not something like Candied Apple or Barn Door is because this has a slight pink hue to it so I think it would work really nicely if you're doing if you want a pink and it would sort of sit in its place as well so I've got festive berries for a red I've chosen squeezed lemonade as my yellow because it's really nice and bright um, I'm going to give you alternatives to these colors as well or these shades as well um, towards the end so don't worry if you can't find squeezed lemonade or you'd rather tone everything down have more of a vintage feel to your colors I'll give you some more options in a moment so I've chosen squeeze lemonade mode lawn is my green very much a grass green um, salty ocean is my blue again a mid blue and then vintage photo is my go-to brown now for the colors of course you can make some beautiful color combinations with these they all mix and match really well the brown is a little bit different now I have done some color swatches with the brown for you but in general I would choose a brown because that's what I would go around my edges with um, I'd ink uh, the edges of literally everything give everything a bit of a vintage shabby chic feel so um, if you want to tone anything down vintage photo is my go-to brown um, but I think it's well worth having either a brown or um, something like black soot within your stash. So let's have a look at just some of the colour combinations that you can be creating using these. Now for each of these little swatches here, I have just used two colours. Okay, and all of these can be created using these five colours. There's 10 different combinations, only two colours in each. So you should be able to easily see from the top and the bottom which colors I've used. But what I want to show you in a moment is what you get in the center of each of these as well. So we have got blue and green, red and blue, blue and brown, red and green, yellow and green, red and yellow, brown and red, blue and yellow, yellow and brown, and brown and green. So every single color here that I've got has been mixed with one of the other colors somewhere. So they are some beautiful backgrounds that you can be creating um, with your card making, your paper crafting. But take a look at if I just do this. So if I lay that there and I lay this one over here, and let's just have a little bit of a jiggle. So you can see we've got a beautiful peachy pink color here. We have got a wonderful citrus green. We've got a beautiful kind of teal green here. We've got a very warm brown, almost a tan color, and we've got a green brown as well. And we've got a very deep, dark, sort of red, warm brown there. Uh, over here, we've got a purple as well. We've got a dark teal as opposed to the brighter teal. Um, we've also got this kind of color is a much darker blue. If you imagine, look at Salty Ocean there, and then the color you can be mixing it into so we've oh and we've got I love this so this is like a brown it's green and red mixed together it reminds me of a deep dark dark apple so just look at some of those other shades that you can be creating with just these five colors if that's all you have they're absolutely beautiful now as I say it may be that you're searching online or your local craft shop wherever it may be and these particular colors are not all in stock so I'm going to give you some alternatives for festive berries fired brick and candied apple are really close 
to that. They're not as pink as festive berries, they are more of a red. We've then got, instead of squeezed lemonade, mustard seed or scattered straw would work equally as well. And of course you can mix and match these. So instead of mowed lawn, I've picked out rusty, rustic wilderness and peeled paint. And then for salty ocean, we have stormy sky or mermaid lagoon. Now mermaid lagoon is brighter, so you will, uh, and you will have a very slight green tinge to that at times. Um, but I love my aquas, so it's not a problem for myself. And then for my brown, for my vintage photo, gathered twigs or brushed cordry, cordroy, sorry. So uh, if you were to pick one colour from any of these three from each row, you're going to, or rather each column, sorry, one from each column, you're going to have enough colours to create 10 different two colour blends. And then there's a further 10 different three colour blends that you can also be creating. And then when you work into, for example, your four colour blends, you're going to get even more. And don't forget those colours that you get in the middle, because you can, of course, layer up your oxides and blend them together to create a purple and a teal and a beautiful tan colour and that lovely coral colour as well. So, like I say, if you are new to Distress Inks and Distress Oxides and you're wondering where to get started, which ones to purchase first, hopefully this will help you just a little bit. And don't forget, over on my YouTube channel, I do have a playlist looking at every Distress Oxide in detail, each colour and what other colours they go really well with. Um, we are building that up at the moment and working through that. So we're working alphabetically and I'm up to the eyes now. So we're nearly halfway through all of the colours, but that will eventually all be there for you. And then I've also got for you to download on my uh, blog, but you'll find it linked below, is the Distress Ink and Oxide Colour Swatch Chart. You can print this off at home and you can fill it in at your ledger so you know which colours you've purchased and which ones are left to get. It's a really, really good resource so you can work out what goes with what at a glance by your swatches and also, like I say, what you've got left to get as well. So I hope that's helped some of you. Um, do look out for a future video um, with another further few colours added onto this as well and what colour combinations you can be creating with those. Um, so if you do like this video and you found it helpful, I'd love a subscribe and a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you again on my channel very soon. Take care everybody. Bye bye.